A vitally important part of understanding the kinds of error which can have serious results is the appreciation that when things go wrong, three failures will have occurred. The initiating event, usually a single error, sometimes on the hangar floor, perhaps during planning, or right back at the design stage. Error can be built in before the job begins. Next is a failure to detect that error, and the absence of an effective control to recover from the consequences. So human error is not simply a case of the individual getting it wrong, it is a system failure. Most of the time the system works well, but such apparent success may not be all that it seems. A good safety record is reassuring, but to rely on the absence of accidents as an indication of safety can be dangerous. A cheese shop may seem to be an odd place to find out what happens when things go wrong. But this cheese has a lesson Great. for us. Could you slice it up for me, please? Maybe four or five slices long ways? That's no problem. Thank you very much. All complex systems have many barriers, safeguards, and defenses to separate hazards from victims, from assets, and from the environment. In an ideal world, each defense would look like this. It would be solid and intact. But in reality, each defense is like this. It has holes in. And the same is true for all the other defences. All the defences have holes in them. The defences which an organisation managing any kind of hazard must have include good documentation, clear communication, regular training, well thought out operating procedures, effective supervision and thorough inspection. All are vital to cost-effective operations and the prevention of accidents and unwanted incidents. Day and night, the work we do, whether we realize it or not, is under attack by circumstances and our own inherent tendency to get things wrong. Usually, individual defenses hold and any breaches are frequently neutralized by the skill, experience and goodwill of people in the front line. But, just occasionally, they are not. Even then, the error is usually neutralized by other layers of defense elsewhere in the system. But sometimes, the worst does happen. The one thing that all incidents have in common is a moment when flaws in the system line up for just long enough to allow people and harm to come into close proximity. The absence of accidents may be the result of effective error management. On the other hand, it may simply demonstrate that undetected flaws have not lined up to allow disaster to strike yet. Take just one example. A dropped or dragged engine caused by the fracture of a fuse pin because brace fastenings were not secured. Similar incidents have occurred at least five times in different places around the world among airlines operating from bases with different ethnic and cultural backgrounds. Progressively, defenses were breached, in one case at least, the pattern looked like this. Procedures were not complied with. Communications failed. Work cards were not up to the job. Training was inadequate. Visible warnings were not present. Inspection did not pick up the error. What events like this demonstrate is that bad outcomes, just like good outcomes, are a team effort by everyone involved. It comes down to this. Defences are essential, but they are not enough. 